We believe the president, on the ill advice of his close security aides, who also must be in the line of investigation and must step aside, may have erred in authorizing the Kenya Defense Force to, to conduct operation against the Turkana community. Right now, KDF forces have been deployed all over Turkana and Samburu County. And the local communities are worried that innocent children, women and youth are going to be tortured. This deployment is ill-advised because it is testimony that our internal security apparatus have totally failed. We are of the view that the, that the president will take full responsibility as commander-in-chief for any human rights violations that will be wrought on innocent Turkana people by these KDF forces. This, we are prepared to launch a legal battle and attain a court of justice locally and internationally. For we wonder why the KDF was not used when 50 Turkanas were massacred by foreigners in Sodenyang. Land Rover KAE 612X. She has rolled two vehicles. Now she has a pickup Land Rover, which belongs to OP with private number plates. Myself, I am a minister in charge of a security docket, wildlife. But I have been denied the private number plate. But a mayor MP who has connections to... to to, to, to powers that be has been given this privilege. And then I was also perturbed yesterday to hear in the media here her denying that she has connections, she has been talking, she does not know the PPO Rift Valley. Members of the press, do the public justice. Go and find out who was the OCPD Samburu district in 1996. The OCPD Samburu district was Mr. Mbijiwe, the current PPO in Rift Valley, when this particular member was a nominated councillor in Samburu. Find out this, and you will know that there is a lot of linkages, and a lot of investigation should be found on this. And the other one is, those officers around the president must step aside, including the head of public service, the permanent secretary internal security, the PCC Rift Valley, and the PPO, they must step aside so that a judicial process takes up. And the communities on ground, both Turkanas and Samburus, should be given the opportunity to give their views on this particular matter. You are now flying helicopters, gunships in Turkana, harassing people in Lodua, harassing people everywhere. We have never in any election. Turkana is a very peaceful, peaceful area. And somebody believes he can bring all the forces to destroy the Turkana, you can't protect this border. We have all the security. The, this this uh, this defense force we're talking about here cannot even go to Ethiopia now. We we being killed last, last night. We lost so many people. Uh, let the Samburu celebrate uh, for once uh, that the Turkanas have finished this time. We can't take it. We can't take. It. I want, want to say this. Our people are waiting. We will not run away. We will want to face. We want to wait for these forces to come. We'll be in all the towns. Come and kill us and beat all of us and, 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 and be happy as Samburu and be happy as this country because of something we cannot take as, as, as the leaders of Turkana. And for the president himself, who has done a good job, I don't know what has confused him this time, to deploy the military, contrary to what government, uh, the, the constitution says, is overthrowing the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. It is very clear that you cannot use the military in exercising 239. That in performing their functions and exercising their powers, the national security organs and every member of the national security organs shall not act in a partisan manner, further in the interest of a political party or cause, and C, prejudice a political interest or a political cause that is legitimate under this constitution. The Trugana people have legitimate rights to be registered voters. They have legitimate rights to vote where they have been found.